Oh. This is earwax and it's one of the best things in the world, I would say. <laughs> it's actually earwax from the ear canal of a large fin whale. So fin whale is the second largest species on the planet after the blue whale. The wax builds up in the same way as it does with us, but they don't have an external opening to their ear. So they form these wonderful plugs. It's full of layers, individual layers of material, which are laid down year by year and can be used to tell the age of the animal. So this is an incredible thing. These plugs are full of information about everything that the individual animal has experienced in its life, whether it's uh, exposure to contaminants in the ocean or whether or not uh, the animal's been pregnant, if it's a female, stress levels, this is the key thing, exposure to levels of stress. Our collections hold dozens of these plugs from animals that have been collected over the course of the past 150 years. A timeline from 1870 to 2016, and it gave us the opportunity to look at changes in levels of stress in these whales. And we saw correlations with human activity in the ocean, primarily things like commercial whaling, First World War, Second World War, peaks of stress in those animals related directly to those time periods. Now you would expect from the 1980s, stress levels to start to decrease because that was the point at which commercial whaling was banned. There was no more hunting of whales. But actually from the 1990s, what we started to see was a general increase in stress levels of cetaceans, whales, dolphins and porpoises. And we think it's related to things that weren't necessarily a problem for them 100 years ago. And the big one is something that none of us really talk about. One of the biggest pollutants in the ocean is noise, it's underwater noise, and it's noise that's generated by us, by our activity.